Hello everyone, I'm Shogo from Let's Ask Shogo. Today in this video, I'd like to explain to you how to do the chiburi of the katana, which is the blood shake. This is a move that's often done in many video games and also in proper traditional martial arts too. So I'd like to teach you what I have learned through my training of the three schools and styles that I trade in. So then I'd like to explain to you how to do three different types of chiburi. The first one is going to be the most basic one, the side chiburi called yoko chiburi in Japanese. So first you draw the katana out and let's say you fought with an opponent and you defeated him. The blood of your enemy will be on your blade right and you want to try to shake that off as much as possible to try to remove the blood before putting it back into the wooden scabbard. So this is what the chiburi blood shaking is for. So literally from the basic stance here, you swing your katana to the side like this. When you do this, you bring your katana to the side, the sword is almost parallel to the ground. The tip should be just slightly lower than the handle. Now if you see my left hand, it automatically came to my left waist like this, right? This is very important to balance the power because if your left hand doesn't come here to the side of your waist, your body will be very unstable if you just let your hands go, right? So in order to balance the power of your sword going to the right, your left hand should come to your left waist at the same time. Then after the chiburi, you do the sheathing of the katana. Then the second chiburi I'll be explaining to you is called the old chiburi, which means the big chiburi. So again, draw the katana out. You have defeated your enemy in front of you. This time's a little bit more complicated. What you do is you first of all, tilt the katana to the side, to the left like this. You hold it with one hand. You bring it to the side like this. Once your right arm cannot go any farther than this, you bend your arm from here towards your head like this. Then from here, you swing the katana down to shake the blood off. Again, your left hand is always on your waist while you do this. And from here, you do the sheathing. Now, there are many different theories to why we practice the old chiburi. It looks like a very big movement, right? The side chiburi would have been much faster. But the reason why we do this, it's considered to be a kind of salute to the enemy that you have defeated, showing them some respect. And the last chiburi that I'll be introducing today is the most difficult, but the most awesome one that I like very much. It's called the kaiten chiburi, which means the spinning chiburi, spinning blood shake. So again, you draw the katana in front of you, you've defeated your enemy. From here, what you do is you use your right hand to spin the katana inwards like this towards you. And when you do that, your right fist should come near your shoulder to your left shoulder like this. Let's do that one more time like this, okay? And once you bring your right fist to your left shoulder, from here, once you spin it, you hit the handle here to shake the blood off your blade. You hit it. Then from here, the fist that you made holds the katana, the handle, reverse with a reverse grip. Your left hand goes for the scabbard. From here, you let the katana drop automatically. Once it comes to your hand, you place it on your left hand and you sheath. This one is a little bit more difficult compared to the first two. Let's try that again. One time, draw the katana out. Right hand spins the sword. Right fist comes to your left shoulder. Hit the handle. Grab it, reverse grip, spin. Land it on your left hand and sheath. Like this. But of course, most people today, I hope, will not have any blood on your katana, actually. Maybe it's just some of the, uh, the watermelon juice or the fruits juice that you have in your sword. But of course, you want to shake that off too, so the chiburi techniques will come in handy. Everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. If you'd like your own katana to practice the blood shake, or in other words, the fruit juice shake, I hope you can check out Mini Katana.